For quite a while now, I've been obsessed with taking one thing and turning it into another insane, confusing thing. And in the past, that's been things like turning a bunk bed into a drivable vehicle or a mobility scooter into a drift trike. And I couldn't really tell you why, but this is the type of thing that makes me happy. All I can say is that this project is going to be no different. I'm going to open sauce this year and I want to make sure that I bring something really cool that's going to get people's attention and make people laugh. If you're not familiar with open sauce, it's like a Super Bowl show and tell for nerds. And since it was William Osmond's event, I knew that I was going to have to make sure that whatever I built was something that you would like. Something to open sauce or his brand or who knows. All right, goals for the project. The event's gonna be inside a place called the Cow Palace. All indoors, so obviously it needs to be fully electric. Also small, so you can weave in and out of crowds. Number two, because I'm building it for Open Sauce, William Osmond's event, I want it to have like a cat warehouse slash Open Sauce kind of vibe, that theme. Something that he would appreciate. And that leads me to number three, which is I want William Osmond to see it and for him to approve. That might be the hardest part because there's really no guarantee that I'm even gonna see him at the event. That's why I decided to make this mini electric chariot pulled by a tiger. And now I only have two weeks to get this done. So with that being said, I gotta get to work. So the plan is to take a barrel, cut it in half, then cut it in half again. I'm gonna find a small kid's bike, then I'm gonna chop that in half too. Then I gotta find some steel, cut it in half, bend some steel, cut that in half, take a welder and weld a crap load of welds. I'm talking so many welds that I might have to change wire because the last thing I want is it exploding while I'm riding on it. Honestly, some of the welds on the bunk bed just don't look very good and they make me kind of nervous to drive it, but I drive it anyways because I'm dumb. And this is my first electric vehicle of any kind. I have no idea what I'm doing, so I just look for the cheapest thing on Amazon I can find, slap a 350 watt e-bike hub motor on there. And this next part was the part I was least excited for, which is the paint. I do not like painting, and the worst part of it is taping things off. Honestly, painting is just the bane of my existence. If there was one thing I could outsource, it would be painting. And for being a rattle can, I think the paint job actually turned out pretty good. This thing's looking really good. I'm super excited. I had to put these on the outside and on the inside because I realized I drilled the holes too big. And if the holes are too big, it was causing the wheels to tilt in a little bit and rub. So I basically just put on the wheels to test fit it. And I'm gonna get the rest of the electronics sorted out, all wired up, and then I'm gonna do a test drive. I really hope this thing works like I think it will. I haven't really seen anybody do this before, so I don't know. But anything could happen. Anything could happen at this point. So with that done, I started on the electronic side of it, and I was planning on powering that hub motor with a 48 volt battery and a Chinese speed controller. And there you go. There's a strong possibility I just made my first bomb. And the last part is I have to shove a pull up this tiger's butt, for science of course. But before I violate that tiger, I have to test this chariot out and make sure it actually works. So yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. I'm sitting there contemplating whether or not this project's actually gonna be worth it. And honestly, if I was a little bit smarter, I probably would've given up there and just cut my losses. But because my IQ's below room temperature, I decided it'd be a good idea to persevere. And that's exactly what I did. Okay, well, it's the next day. Um, honestly, I had to have a pretty good cry in the shower last night. <laughs> I'm not actually kidding. But this is where we're at. It completely bent right there. And I told myself I should have reinforced this point right here, but I did not. I should have known with such a thin wall, it wasn't going to hold up. I have no choice but to fix it. I have to fix it. Because while I did have a pretty bad thing happen yesterday, I also had a good thing, which was that I got William Oslin's email from a YouTuber friend of mine, and he didn't want to like set up a time or anything, which I understand, but he said that he'll be around and he wants to look at it. And in his words, it sounds epic. I have that, I have that little nugget of hope that it's gonna work out in some way. So now I really have to fix this. I really have to make sure that it's working. My plan right now is to cut it right here and then to also cut it right here. And basically I'll move this part over right here. And that's a giant pain in the butt because I have to like repaint this. It's gonna be a tight spot. So I'm gonna cut it in both those places and see what happens. So this doesn't happen again. I'm gonna put a brace right here, add some strength to this joint. I'm probably gonna cap this end as well. So let's hope that works. I still have to do a little bit of work on the bunk bed to make it ready, but this event is gonna be sick. I've got the traction pads, I've got the fuel tank, I've got a cat sitting on a skeleton's face. So I did end up fixing this in exactly the way I described, but that's probably boring. So look at this, it's all done. You guys don't have to worry about it. Put it on a razor. Yeah. <laughs> what? 
witchcraft. Witchcraft and wizardry. That's so cool. Mm. Some over a sexy beast. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> it's so sweet. You're not allowed to take no. it. Back yeah. I'm better than ever. Whoa. I think I got it better. Oh now they call me I seen her. Yeah. All of those times getting severed. I told them all I can let up. They get not tired of me never. Yeah. Give me a shot and I oof. I swear I shoot like Boretta's. Can I put that tiger on there? Yeah, we need yeah. I'm gonna put it up like this. It has to come up the tiger's butt. I think I have to cut a hole in its butt right there and yeah. shove the. No. Just make a hole right here in his chest, maybe. No, we're good. No, we're wait. Just run it right up through everything. But it would have to have a hole in its in its butt. It'll go through all the way. Yeah. True. Just let me put a hole in its butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. No, I like that. No, I like that from the back. We will hit it from the back. <laughs> well, <laughs> you gotta come at it from the front, but it'll go out the back. Get pull the back out. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Tiger. <laughs> what? Nothing. You're fine. We just, we just need to blow your back out. <laughs> <laughs> just do it like I would on a wild up. animal. As high up as you can, just like down that way. I was just for this. Oh. Stop. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> can you chill right now, Tiger? <laughs> is it just me or is this tiger looking thick? I'm gonna put the key in the butt. <laughs> it's working! <laughs> yeah. So sweet. Yeah. That looks so funny. <laughs> Halfway through right now, bunk beds look pretty sweet on there. A lot of people are staring at me right now, and I'm feeling very self-conscious because I've never done this before. I didn't bring my passport. We're just a couple potato boys. <laughs> Your passport? <laughs> <laughs> it took me a second. Two minutes. Um, San Francisco Bridge. What bridge is this? Here it is. All the way from Idaho. I think they have a sign for solar eyes. Oh. All right, so I got it. Unloaded here, open sauce. Got my chariot here. I don't know the amount of people that's already walking past it and being like, "Oh, this is so cool!" Like I'm, I'm pretty excited for the next couple days. This is gonna be sweet. By this point, I knew my plan to make it small and fully electric was the perfect idea for this event. I knew that the branding was right on point for the event. But the last part of that puzzle was to really get William Osmond's approval on it. So I was really hopeful at some point I'd be able to see him, show him my creation, and get his approval. It feels so weird with holding a camera. It feels so unnatural. Because you're holding it like it's the biggest nerd ever. <laughs> <laughs> I basically have the booth set up how it's going to be. It's actually twice the size of what I asked for. So it really is like chariot steer. Oh, this is exciting. Wow, this is very cool. Yeah, this is a riot. It's also very fast. Is it not so fun? This is awesome. Dude, Will's gonna love this. Dude. I rated an 11 out of 10, dude. Not only does it look amazing, but it's fun. I wonder how fast this goes. This is how you charge it. <laughs> this, uh, never mind. This is a 12 out of 10. I love this thing. All in all, this event was a dream come true for me. I love open sauce. I hope I can go every year. I met so many really cool people, so many people that were interested in the stuff I've built. I let a bunch of people drive the chariot. I don't know what's in this uh, tiger there, but <laughs> you see a rip. I met a ton of other creators, people that I've looked up to for a long time. At one point, I was racing Ed from C90 Adventures back and forth on my chariot. That is the weirdest driving interface I've ever experienced. I even took a selfie with Joseph Prusa sitting on my bunk bed. It really was just all the greatest minds in the engineering and makerspace coming together, and I loved it so much. I definitely recommend it for anybody thinking about going to it, but I still had that one thing hanging over my head. The goal that I had set at the beginning of this, and the whole reason I built the chariot in the first place and brought 
brought it all the way from Idaho. I had to get William's approval on it. I had to make sure that he at least saw it. As one of the people who I've watched the most on YouTube as I've started my channel and making my own videos and projects, I just thought it would be really cool to have, I guess, like one of the people I look up to approve of something I built. But only a few minutes before the event ended, William walked up and scared the crap out of me. This is... I squeeze? No. Is it breaks? It's an it's off. Oh, okay. Can I do this? Yeah, you pull them both tight, and that's how you steer. Wait, this, Boy, this is like great. a couple weeks. No, I did this. Wait, actually, this is an off. Awesome. It's probably turning right of us. This is dumb. Get on like a tire. The big loop. This is sick. What's your rating? This is this is like a solid. Uh, I don't want to give it a ten, but I'm gonna go for like an eight. Okay. That's a great score. Dude, sick. Yeah, thank you. Good shit, dude. Thank you. In the dirt, say it again, man, and that's a reverse. Never rehearse, jumping in first. Call up the nurse, put the beat in the hearse. Uh.